Hey guys, what's up? It's Carson Lee and today we're going to be talking about the writing supplies that I use most frequently or that I consider essentials along with some of the other things that I like to use but aren't necessarily critical to writing. My room is already a mess today so I figured why not film this video, it's the perfect time. But the first thing that I need is a computer. This is my computer. It's new. My mom got it for me a few months ago as a graduation present. I just graduated from college and I do most of my writing on the computer. Along with the computer, I use Scrivener to write, but I also use Google Drive and I don't think I could pick between the two. I use both of them to write and for different purposes. I like to use Dropbox as well to back up things just in case, you know, no one wants to lose their work. I upload everything that I've done in Scrivener to Google Drive every time I finish a chapter, so I kind of have it saved in a whole bunch of different places because I am paranoid, even though I've never lost any of my writing, you know, like freaking knock on wood. I've never lost any of my writing. I'm still paranoid and I still like to keep it double, triple, quadruple safe. I also use my computer to access the internet. If you don't know, I write a lot of historical fiction stuff and to do that involves a lot of research and while I do have a pretty large collection of physical books, I do use the internet in a quick pinch for things that I'm really not sure of and just need to look up. You can hear my dog. She is just moseying around my room and her nails make a little click clack sound on the hardwood floor. So the next thing that I use while I'm writing, if we're gonna stay in like the tech, the tech range, you know? I love listening to music. I don't know if this is because I was a music kid and I'm used to very loud music, like kind of reverberating around me, but it is really hard for me to listen to music just like playing in the world. I need to have it in my ears, like in headphones or um, earphones. Like I just don't like it, like my phone just playing things. That's not really my jam. So my headphones, my phone for music. I am not bothered by music with words. I know some people are. It doesn't bother me. I listen to a lot of folksy music most of the time. I'm loving Folklore by Taylor Swift right now, but The Lumineers I love to listen to. Vance Joy I love to listen to while I'm writing. Maggie Rogers I love to listen to. Those are just a few of the things that I most frequently choose to listen to while I am drafting. The next writing supply that I use is my fancy keyboard. I love this. I got it for my birthday this year for my boyfriend and it makes wonderful click clacky sounds and I just plug it into my computer and use it with my laptop so I do love to use this as much as I can but obviously I don't always use it. Another supply that I like to have on hand is a physical copy of my draft. Now this is obviously not for drafting but for revising I don't like to revise solely on the computer. I like to see the words in front of me. So this is part of my Valor, my first book. This is part of it, all printed out. This is something that I like to have on hand when I'm writing new words. Along with previous drafts is an outline. So these are pages from the most recent outline for my second novel, Might and I pretty much keep these with me all the time to reference. I, as I go along, I put some of this information into Scrivener to reference if I'm just taking my computer somewhere, but I really like to have the actual outline with me wherever I go. I also love to use a planner. This is my new planner from Rad and Happy. I will link their shop down below, or her shop, Tara's shop down below, but I'm a big planner person. I need to write it down or else I will forget it. I'm woefully unorganized and my planner helps me a little bit with that. Just keeping goals in mind, what I wanna do, when I wanna do it by and, and trying to stay accountable with this. The next thing that I personally like to use while I'm writing is index cards. I use these for anything and everything. I believe I showed you in a recent vlog 
how many index cards I have, but I have, you know, probably over a thousand index cards just in my room, in my writing space area. I love them. I use them for so many different things. I use them to jot down notes as I'm reading my manuscript. I use them to keep track of scenes. I use them to keep track of characters. Um, really anything that can be written down, I can write it on an index card or as an alternative, a post-it note. I love post-it notes. I just bought like 12 new post-it notes when I really, 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 really didn't need them, but I love them and I do use them all the time. I will either put them in my manuscript or around my desk to remind me of things. Um, and I also put them in my notebooks. So <laughs> I have two notebooks that may seem a little, um, overkill but this notebook is actually kind of a story bible for my two books might and valor and i have important information in here in terms of like outline stuff character stuff setting things it all goes in here and then this is more of my everyday journal you can see like it is obviously a little bit more beat up than this one and this I'll put in just random things that come to my mind, um, journaling things, how I'm feeling about writing, and the difference I guess for these mainly is that this one I use when I'm sitting down purposely to work on my books, whereas this one is more of something that I just have with me all the time. Had to go check on something quick, but I am back now. The next thing that I use, pretty much all the time when I'm writing is is my forest app this is pretty much a lifesaver for me I use it all the time oh you can see books and Lala is having a stream right now I use my forest app all the time I love it um, I'm a little obsessed with it I've had to kind of stop using it for a little bit and uh, almost like a recovering addict <laughs> just get over using it to track everything all the time, but I do love tracking sprints if I'm doing them and kind of being able to see when I'm working on it, when I'm not, what projects I'm working on each day. That's what I use my forest app for. Some more um, kind of technical aspects of the writing supply world that I love to use are just a ruler, scissors, and tape. I use these things because sometimes I'm a very physical writer and I need to just jot things down and track things out and so I'll use index cards or sticky notes or random pieces of paper and tape those up, um, cut those down, move things around. I really like to have the freedom of a physical copy of something, especially like an outline versus the computer so that I can do those things and these are some things that help me do that. I also love to mind map which is basically what I use the ruler for is if I really want straight lines. Most of the time I don't because mind mapping is just, you know, doing your own thing. But yes, I always like to have these on hand for any time that I'm doing some serious physical work on my novels rather than digital work. Going along with physical work, I always have markers. These are just Crayola markers that I keep on hand. And I also have my mild liners, which I and am obsessed with. The reason why I use a lot of markers and highlighters is because I love to color code things. I think especially when you have a big cast and when you have multiple books, color coding is just the way to go. It keeps me organized, it keeps everything on track, and I I wouldn't be able to write the way that I write without color coding, if that makes any sense. It's just such a convenient way to, at a glance, look at what I'm doing, whatever book I'm working on, whatever section I'm working on, and see whose perspective is it in. Um, how many times has their perspective come up in the last few chapters? It's so convenient for me personally, and I really do begin to associate those colors with those characters or those projects. So for example, obviously, if you couldn't tell, 
by the things that I've been showing you. My favorite color is blue, but I really do associate blue with Valor, my first novel, and I associate green with Might, my second novel. And so if you open up this journal, there are sticky notes in the top right here. I don't know if you can see them. And the green one marks where Might starts, my second book. This is an outline for Valor, and you can see that the chapter heading is blue. And then if we flip over to the outline for Might, my second book, you can see that the outline is green. So color coding, always a plus in my book. Just so much easier in terms of quickly glancing at things and knowing what's going on right away. And then the final supplies that I want to talk about today are my pens. I'm a little obsessed with pens, but I think any English history major is. You're doing a lot of reading, you're doing a lot of annotating in books and things like that, annotating papers, and so I have quite the collection of pens and I'm always adding more. My go-to pen for everyday use is a Pilot G2 in the .38 size. I have a a little bit of OCD which I've talked about on my channel before but I like to use up one before I start the other one so you can see the used up one versus the new one that I haven't started yet um yeah I get a little crazy about them I also love the Pilot Precise V5 I have these in a whole bunch of different colors I love the Pentel Energel I keep those in my bag as well and I just recently got myself Papermate flare pens, mostly to use on index cards while I am outlining and making scene cards and to use in my planner to color code, obviously. So those are some of the writing supplies that I use most often. Very, very, very occasionally I will break out the single pencil <laughs> that is in my pencil case and my little eraser if I'm doing um, maybe like sketches or mind mapping sometimes. I'm really not a big fan of a pencil. I, I just like to wing it with a pen and if I make mistakes, I make mistakes. It doesn't really bother me. So those are just some of my writing supplies that I like to use. Obviously, if you are writing, you only really need, I mean, a computer if you're writing online or paper and a pen or a pencil if you're writing physically you don't need like all of this accoutrement colored things and keyboards to attach and you just really need some place to put your words but I thought it would be fun to show you some of the things that I like to use while I am drafting and editing I would say probably my favorite supply right now is my keyboard but only because that's new <laughs> and I think I probably oscillate what I just got or what I've been using the most in terms of what is my favorite but yeah this is my favorite right now <laughs> so let me know in the comments down below what is your favorite writing supply other than just like you know the necessities what's your favorite extra writing supply that you know you don't really need but you like to have on hand and thank you so much for watching this video I know my videos have been a little sporadic right now I I underestimated how hard it would be to start a full-time job obviously that's my fault and not your fault I will be getting back to regularly posting again I'm trying to catch up on the weekends and get those videos out for you guys so I will see you guys soon I promise and if you like what you saw and you want to see more from me please subscribe down below I make writing and reading content on this channel and I would love to have you guys here Thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!